Oh, there it is. Hey, Periscope. So today I have been pulling my hair out, trying to get a mobile site up. Hey, Ed Miller, how are you? Um, today I've got uh, a tip for you on Facebook. So we have, we're coming up on 9,000 followers on Facebook, which really isn't that many, but it's, uh, it's enough to kind of know what works and what doesn't. So we have uh, a thing. So I, I stayed up at this resort last weekend and I did a review on it and I actually shared the link on a comment thread that I had with some other friends, right? Well, it went crazy. I have no idea how. It has had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people read this. I've never promoted the article once other than sharing it to one friend one time. So that, first of all, the tip is, you know, use Facebook as a tool to communicate and build that community because you just don't know what's gonna uh, grab some traction and go. Um, I thought I just nailed it with this place. Gave them an awful review. Um, but uh, I've gotten a lot of feedback from people said, oh man, you just nailed it on Facebook. So <laughs> I'm going to um, show you a couple things um, uh, on sharing on Facebook. Um, one is a, a good thing to do and one is just something you need to know. Hold on just a sec. Let me flip this around. Say uh, on Facebook, you have the option of sharing videos, of sharing images, of sharing links or doing an update, right? So here is a great picture. We're very visual with the food blog. This is a no-bake dark chocolate cake or tart, okay? This is an image and if I want to just share an image of something, this is a great way to do it. I get a very big area on the screen that people get to see. Um, but you notice that if I'm trying to drive traffic to my site, it gets difficult because when I click here, now I just go to my images and people scroll through my images, which in my opinion is not ideal, okay? Because I want traffic to my site. Sometimes it's okay to have images like up there. I don't think everything you should post, pin, share, tweet, whatever, should be just your stuff. You should mix it up so it's okay to have some things in there, but you know, the majority of things that you want to drive traffic to in your blog ought to be links. So. I'm going to show you, um, and by the way, those pictures you saw there, you can just see them in the image section over here. Uh, this is me. These are the most recent videos. You'll see, you know, we actually get uh, a lot of uh, video views um, on Facebook as well. So this is the review. Um, and again, I just took a picture of just all the junk piled up in the corner, put it up, that's my featured image. And if you if you look, I've still got my link in here, just like the one below. So if I wanna to go to the article, I just click on my link here. Um, but now on this one, because I shared the link and not a picture, this whole image is clickable to my website. So watch, I click. And, oh, my server's super slow today because I'm doing a bunch of work on it. Here's my post. And you can see it just goes on and on and on and on and on and on. But that's my post. And what happened was, um, you know, you can see here's my trending board. It's uh, trending, it's our fourth highest read article in the last 24 hours. So that's what happened. Um, and so the two the two points I'm trying to make today is make sure you know, use Facebook for traffic. I just showed you an example of how we um, got a bunch of traffic, didn't really even intend to do it that way. Um, but then when we use uh, share our links like this rather than um, sharing an image, that's when we uh, can make these things clickable, and that'll drive a lot more traffic to you as well. So so that's my tip for the day. Use Facebook for traffic. There's uh, it just happens, first of all, naturally, because people are social and they share things. And the other is use links. That'll help increase the amount of traffic per post to your page. So there's your tip. Thanks so much. If you like all these, I've got a whole category on the website, dan330.com. And we also have, uh, hey, you're welcome. And we also have uh, a learn to blog section. So if you're interested in either of those, we'd love to have you. You can see all these at uh, dan330.com slash live. Have a great day. Bye.